All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today we're going to be talking about five things that I want improving or adding to the game of Pokemon Go. Let's get straight into this. And the main and number one that I like adding is a heal slash revive all button. The amount of times that your phone slash game crashes when you're trying to tap a Pokemon and it just sits there waiting for a server response is ridiculous and if you're in a raid by yourself you could essentially lose your pass because of things like this so having a reviver and heal all button would be amazing in the game it would decrease the amount of times in raids which means you can go and play more outside catch more pokemon and everyone is a winner number two on this list i would like a level information to be added to a pokemon screen now what i mean by that is you should be able to see an easy thing added that says mega level 2 or 100% IV like I know Pokemon have never advertised IVs except for with fantastic and good and things like that but a mega level they've added a button where you have to click it to go to it whereas it should just say mega level 2 and then you click on it to get more details rather than having to go through that system to find out what level it is so I do think I, I would like that just as a little quality of life update. It would be really cool to see that. You can then also add your tags to it so you know when they're max level, that kind of thing. Now, one of the other ones I do think needs to improve in slash add into the game is a 100% IV symbol. Now, this would help so many people without having people like go to events and have to remember 10 Pokemon's top IV to get to know they've got a 100%. Like I went to GoFest caught a Cresselia without even knowing it was 100% and yeah that's cool and it's a shock like when you say oh my god I got a 100% yeah but if you can see that 100% symbol you will still get that same shock and you should just be able to catch it and you would be a bit more careful about catching it rather than having to remember some CP amount and hope that it is 100% so I do think that needs to be added as they're adding symbols for most things now. That would be a good one to add. I think another one would be a different feature to add coins to the account or make the current one better. So currently we have a 50 coin a day limit from gyms and that is okay. You know, it's free coins. Can't really complain. However, if you could have a, instead of a daily amount, have a weekly amount or a monthly amount. You would then be able to go and get 50 coins a day for for your week of seven days from Monday to Monday or Monday to Sunday. And you should be able to get 350 for the week. Now that would mean that you don't have to prioritize gyms. So say you got all yours in, on Monday. You wouldn't have to prioritize gyms for the rest of the week, which means other people can get coins. Which means that after all that, everyone can increase their bag space, their item space and things like that. And... It just it helps improve players, which is a good thing for the game. The final one I want to go over is a better raid system slash gym system. If you look at Sword and Shield, the Pokemon game, they have a raid route system where you go through like five or six raids to get to the main boss. Now, I think it would be cool if they did that and added it to their routes feature they've added where... On your route, you might get three or four gy gyms and raids to take down. And by taking them down, you could get better rewards at the end of it. So you can get a one-star raid, two-star raid, three-star raid, four-star raid. And when you finish the route, you have the opportunity to take down a five-star Pokemon, which could be a legendary for the month. And you could bring back so many more legendaries and have a good system like it would make me want to go and do routes because you could use one raid pass for eat for the whole thing rather than having to use five and you have to go through the lower levels to get to that five star if you don't do the raids on the way round you don't get the five star at the end so the it would help so much to increase routes play especially as the feature doesn't really work at the minute um but you'd be able to create a route and they'd add five gyms towards it. And they wouldn't be on the map, these gyms. These raid points would just be on that route. 
So you wouldn't be able to use them normally. They wouldn't have any Pokemon in. It would literally just be level one, like stop, like raid point, level two raid point, level three raid point, level four, and then level five, which could be the legendary. All right, guys, that's where I'm going to end this video. This is my five things I would like improving in Pokemon Go. Um, there are more I would like, but I'm going to stick with five for now. These are the ones that are most likely to get updated in the future. Um, so I am hoping this does get done. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like down below. Comment if you do think of any more you would like to discuss in the comments. I will always reply back. And also subscribe if you are new. And I will speak to you all in the next one.